Hi, I'm Eddie Brochin. Welcome to this week's show. This week, I'm visiting Mark Wilkes at West Texas Adventures, where I'll be taking you on a primitive bow hunt for the American bison. And as an added bonus, we're gonna bring you two more bow hunts for exotic game and wild boar with pro staff members Matt Wing and Larry Sizemore. As I always promise you folks, this is action packed. You don't wanna miss it, pull up a chair. Well, Eddie and I got about three or four hours of sleep last night uh, there in Lubbock, Texas. Now we're uh, heading south here on Highway 82 and heading to the ranch. Hi, I'm Mark Wilkes. I'm from Brownfield, Texas. I run a 2,900 acre game ranch. And in that game ranch, we have several types of exotics, Asian, African, and European. Uh, we also have several types of birds, quail, two geese, and everything in between. Uh, our facility consists of an 8,000 square foot lodge. And at the, at, with the lodge, we have a cleaning facility and freezer. We can accommodate pretty much any size group. We also, with that, have a, a, a banquet room and uh, we are also two miles from the local airport. Thought I'd take a couple of practice shots before we head out into the field. I'm shooting cow dung. That's my target for today. Oh, just shaved it to the right. Cow pie, right in the middle. I think we're ready to go hunt now. The hunt for the black buck ended in the usual way, without a shot. The very first thing I noticed this morning when we got up was a real heavy, dense fog. And I'd mentioned to uh, Matt that that might, might play into our favor. We had noticed some bison the day before that were grazing on the edge of this pasture near the thicket. And, and I thought, man, we, if we can get into that thicket and just move around the edge, we might be able to get a shot off. And sure enough, the shot was coming.
single two-blade Magnus and my custom wood arrows by Ed DeWitt, given to me by Three Rivers Archery, has put the bison down in a matter of seconds. The Magnus, now known as the Bison Blade, did the job, folks. Well, there you have it, folks. This is my first ever American Bison with a bow. Matt and I came up, uh, got up this morning. We noticed it was real misty. So we thought, hey, you know what? Let's use this mist uh, to our advantage. You know, we know that the buffalo like to hang out in the edges of these pastures here and graze. And they're very difficult to get up on a, uh, within range to get a shot on a bow. So this morning, we used the edge of the cover, the edge of the thicket, and we flanked around. Once I spotted them, we, we ran all the way around, made a big flank, come back in behind them and used the trunks of these big trees as cover to sneak up on them to get the shot off. So I challenge you guys, I mean, pick, instead of, you know, shooting a gun or the compound one time, pick up a, a recurve or a longbow, head down here to West Texas Exotic and Game Bird Ranch, and pitch your skills against some of the big game that they have here on this ranch, like the American bison, and also they have eland here, and several species of uh, a large African game. Hi, welcome back. Hope you're enjoying this week's show. It's Matt Wing's turn to hunt, but he's not quite ready yet. So let's take a little time and visit Larry Sizemore back in the hill country on a wild boar hunt that we filmed just a couple of months back. Larry wanted to shoot the Audad, but he was off limits. Only wild boar was on the menu this time around. It wasn't long and we spotted our target species. I asked Larry if he was gonna take the shot and he declined. He was one in a bigger hog. Just before dark, the bruiser that Larry was looking for made an appearance. But we decided that it was getting a little bit too late to get the shot off. The following morning, just before sunrise, we were back on stand and ready for the hunt. I was surprised to see that freight train was still in the area. Tried a hog a little far back this morning. We gave it time, and then now we're gonna get a group of let's look for it with some dogs, and we're gonna get the high power out here and see if we can uh, retrieve this big hog that we started with this morning. So uh, hopefully we'll find him here. Think there's a good chance, Bob? You bet. There's always a chance. The shot wasn't as bad as we thought but I wasn't about to track a wounded hog into the cedar thicket without some high-powered backup. He's 
He's like, where are you going, you guys? I think well, we both almost just shot Cece. Yeah. There's a little blood, right? I went. <laughs> you and I both are reaching for my hip. <laughs> I did too. I was going to make a clip. Oh, look at all that blood. Oh, yeah. Oh. Looky, 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 looky. We'll stop here. Yeah. Bubbly. That looks like lungs. Bubbles. Con cuidado porque está pegado en los pulmones también, mira. Sí, mucho calor. Sí. Por aquí debe estar cerca. Sí. Debe de estar aquí, ¿no? Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Ahí está, ya lo vi. Ahí está. Take him out, eh. Sí, 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 sí. Sí, sí, sí. Take him out, eh. You shot over the top. Corre, corre. Hold on, hold on. Big hog. Drop it. Get over here. Hurry up. Come on. Hurry up. Put it low. Put it low. Okay. CC, Ben. CC. 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 Drop it. He's dropping. Hit him again, right behind the shoulder. All right, that's good. All right, you got him, man. What do you say about that? Thanks, Bob. I you bet. It. You Not bet. everything in bow hunting goes exactly <laughs> as planned, right? That's all right. All right. Okay. That's a big hog. Yes, sir, he is. The arrow actually made it. It was, wasn't a bad shot at all, but he's just a monster, if you notice. Oh, the arrow penetrated good and everything right behind the off shoulder. But well, that was exciting. We finally tracked up on him with the dogs and the um, search party here, and we got him. The dog baited him for us a little bit, and uh, I took a few shots. I got excited. I think I, I missed the first couple shots there, but. Uh, we got him again on the second uh, try, and uh, I made a good shot on him the second time. And here's this big, uh, big boar. Well, we reviewed the, the footage from earlier, and I thought I made a little far back shot, but the exit side really wasn't that bad. Um, even though it's a dangerous game, we brought the high power just in case. I think I could have probably put another arrow in him, but just for uh, safety reasons, we went ahead and uh, used the high power and uh, make sure we uh, harvested the animal. Awesome hog, huge hog, biz hog I've ever shot in my life. So I'm really happy. Thanks for all the guides and uh, thanks for inviting us to uh, the ranch here. It's an exciting hunt. Well, man, that was a huge hog Larry just shot. But now we're back here at the West Texas Adventures Hunting Ranch here in Brownfield, Texas. And it's Matt Wing's turn to hunt. I gotta tell you, my heart sank when I saw the arrow hit that limb. But you know what? That's bow hunting. Um, we're not gonna be as picky this morning. We're gonna take whatever comes in. It looks it looks nice, so we're gonna get up there and hopefully we'll get a shot. Nice. Well, we've been hunting here at the ranch uh, for several days now, and I've been watching 
um, the animals' reactions uh, when they spot us. And I never would have guessed that we would have gotten as close as we did to the sheep, especially wide out in the open prairie. Watch him. Where's he going? Can you believe that? Watch him, watch him. Holy. Whew. Can you believe that stalk? Hold on. Right there he is. See that black right there? That's him. I don't know a whole lot about rams. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. These things are some of the neatest animals. As usual, our game was taken back to camp dressed out and prepared for the evening meal. Well, folks, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoy the show. And remember, you've been watching Outdoors with Eddie Brochin, where it's as real as it gets. We'll see you next week.